We bout to play 2K K. Brutal Sim, Step Back J. J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell West What up, what up It's your boy You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene Wicked and mean With a next video for y'all man so a lot of people when i've been putting out my archetype and my bills a lot of people hit me up yeah bro i made this mistake with this made a mistake with that and i gotta apologize man that i didn't put this video out sooner right because i there has been a um a team come on man go in there a team with people talking about what mistakes they made and why they made it man and if a lot of people um, look at my builds closely. I build my players a certain way. Very um, similar with all builds. Somewhat. Alright, so I'm going to highlight them in this video to try to save y'all that VC, save y'all that time. Y'all know how we do, man. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to highlight some of the mistakes y'all need to avoid. The main mistakes y'all need to avoid man, when creating an archetype. Now, the first thing, I got three points. I'm going to lay them out straight up. Is one is the height, two is the weight, three is the arm length. Those are the three things people make the most mistake on when creating their builds. Not the combination, not the combination. I see some weird combination work, but the height, the weight, and the length of your arms are the three things, right? Now we're going to start by, come on man, the height. A lot of people like to max out players out there. A lot. A lot of people gave me a lot of flag when I made my center, the tank, 7-2. And I've been doing this for a lot of 2Ks now since I've been creating players. I never made them max height. And there's a reason for that. After NBA 2K 15 or 14, I think it was 15 it was, where everyone was maxing out the height of their players and running around with demigods. 2K decided, all right, we're not gonna have this again. So now, if you max out your players, the height, we're gonna reduce the vertical and make your player a little slower. What are you doing? Get that out of here. Make your player a little slower, right? So now, your big player is a little sluggish on defense and a lot of people come in there and post to you at 7-3. Whereas my dude, okay, my dude is a beast because he could jump higher and he's a little faster than you, man. So that's why I always recommend if you're building a big man in this game, don't max out the height at all. And this does not go for the big man only. This go for all position. It's the same with all positions point guards it would benefit you to be like an inch shorter at least in the point guard position especially for the playmaking build give me that euro especially for the playmaking build um sharpshooters the same thing you don't need to max out the height at all you don't right because you don't really want to lose that extra agility the extra vertical which will help you generally play this game it's a very important factor for creating players so the height I always tell y'all don't max out the height. And I'm gonna just keep giving my advice. Y'all could do what y'all want. You know how it is, man. It's just my opinion, my advice. A lot of people might dislike the video for this, but that's what I learned. The second thing is, give me that. Ah, get in there. Come on, man. The weight. Same thing for the height goes for the weight. A lot of people like to max out your weight. Like it's gonna make you stronger. It won't make you that much stronger, right? I'm sorry. That max weight just gonna make you look big and it's gonna make you slow and make it horrible for you to get back on defense. Foul. All right, gonna make it horrible for you to get back on defense, which is not what you want as a big man. As a big man, you want, look at, look at the NBA, man. Look at the NBA. Who's the biggest center in the NBA? The heaviest center in the NBA. Then ask yourself, who's the most effective centers in the NBA, man? They're not big and sluggish. They're very agile, man. When you look at Cousins, he actually trimmed down some weight. Everyone else is trimming down weight. Now, 2K trying to mirror this, of course. Because they know a lot of people want the biggest and heaviest dudes. So it's a lot more sluggish. I'm sorry. And the strength doesn't really rely on 
the size like that. Because if you look at my player, 7'2", 290 pounds. He got a strength over 90 something, right? Which is way more than a lot of bills. Because I know Nunu got a 7'3", something, 7'3", on 300 and something pounds. And his strength, and he got locked down. I think it's a lockdown with Bongo or lockdown slash or something like that. One of the two, one of the two. But his strength is an 80 something. And my dude is a lot lighter and he's shorter and his strength is higher. Now I'll explain that. <laughs> when I look at athletic finishers, they don't have a lot of strength, which is weird to me, to be quite honest. That, that was really weird. Come on, give me that. That was really weird to me. I, I'm surprised they didn't give the athletic finisher more strength, but they just don't. So it's your strength is determined by what archetype you selected not the weight so creating that big player and taking a loss in your agility your speed is not worth it right it just isn't right now last but not least is the arm length the arm length a lot of people always ask me what arm length i'm gonna always answer one answer or one way I'm going to always say max out your arm length no matter what the build you're creating because the way I look at it the pros always outweighs the cons a lot of people oh I shoot better not really you get a few extra points you do not shoot better if you could shoot in this game you could shoot in this game and it it won't really matter how long your arm is in terms of you shooting but what the length of your arm does right if you max it out it helps you with defense right it helps you get interceptions steals it helps you get rebounds it helps you get block shots it helps in all those categories the pros outweighs the cons the con is not really noticeable to be honest it isn't so the arms you should not question a lot of people they're creating short arm players because some youtuber going out and say oh i created a short arm and he's shooting lights out but the, when you look at the archetype he got he got a pure sharp shooter and i'm like you know this dude got a pure sharp shooter right uh, why you? come on man like really and the person the other person now is creating short arms because especially if you're a pure sharp you need all the help you could get on defense because you know the pure sharps are a little bit slower on defense right the lateral quickness is not that high so you need those extra arm lengths man to get those blocks rebounds the little things that count the arm lengths help a lot man all right so I, I as i said before i don't care what archetype what position what height what weight the arms should be long and it also helps with your arm um, contested shots and stuff like that which makes sense right so that's all i got for y'all man those are the three big mistakes people make when creating their player i'm sorry i didn't put this video out earlier man i ain't gonna front with y'all this is something i always knew this is something I, especially looking at numbers this year because i actually went through a few bills and was looking at what i'm gonna lose out on you know what i'm saying so so I knew this a while now and that's how I created my players and all my players are amazing. I ain't going front on defense ain't no joke because I never compromise on the speed and the length of the arms and the height as well. The height and the weight. Never. I know I, I never compromise on those things. I'm not going to make a player too heavy and hopefully he bullies people when his his archetype wasn't meant to bully no one. Right? So there you have it, man. Your boy Sim. If you're first time to my channel, make sure and like the video, share the video, hit your boy subscribe. If it's not your first time, come on, give me that. Oh, side up, step back. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> if it's not your first time, make sure like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna help. Your boy Sim, one love, respect, bless. Hero, come on, 2K. <laughs> you don't know.